planet Earth. Home, sweet home. As of now, Earth holds the record for the only planet known to host life. At around 93 million miles from the sun, Earth sits in our solar system's Goldilocks zone, where conditions are just right to allow water to remain liquid, an essential ingredient for life. Too close to the sun, and water boils away. Too far from the sun, and water freezes in the frigid depths of space. Earth is just right. At about 7,900 miles across, Earth is only 5% larger than neighboring Venus, a major part of why the two planets are considered cosmic twinsies. Have you ever wondered why Earth has seasons? If you were to draw a straight line through the south to north pole, called an axis, Earth is tilted more than 23 degrees on its axis. So the parts tilted towards the sun receive more light and warmth. Speaking of which, Earth rotates around its axis once every 24 hours. This is what we call a day. Of course, the Earth also orbits or revolves around the Sun once every 365 days, better known to us as a year. It's believed that nearly 4.5 billion years ago, when our Earth was just a baby, a wandering planet named Thea collided with the Earth. The resulting debris regathered and coalesced, forming our one and only moon which is the fifth largest in the solar system at nearly 30% of the Earth's size. Earth is one of the lucky planets to have its own atmosphere, which acts like a protective blanket for our world. Our atmosphere consists of several layers. The innermost layer is the troposphere. This is where nearly all of our clouds and weather occur. It's also the layer where buildings, hot air balloons, and even you live in. The troposphere extends from the ground to between five and nine miles up. Next is the stratosphere. With little turbulence, the stratosphere is the layer where commercial jets prefer to fly. The infamous ozone layer is also in the stratosphere and absorbs dangerous incoming radiation from the sun, preventing it from reaching us. The stratosphere extends for around 31 miles beyond the troposphere. Next comes the mesosphere. Meso meaning middle. Incoming meteors burn up as they strike this layer, producing what we enjoy as shooting stars. The mesosphere continues for another 20 miles beyond the stratosphere. After the mesosphere comes the thermosphere. It's within the thermosphere that the International Space Station orbits Earth. You can even spot it all the way down in the troposphere. The thermosphere extends for nearly 400 miles beyond the mesosphere. Beyond the thermosphere lies the vast exosphere, which extends for another 5,800 miles beyond the thermosphere. This outermost layer is where Earth's atmosphere gradually fades, merging into the rest of space. But the Earth's atmosphere isn't our only line of defense against the harsh conditions of space. We also have a magnetic field, which emanates from our planet's north and south poles, this is how your compass knows to automatically point north, because the Earth itself acts like a gigantic magnet. These self-sustaining magnetic field lines serve as a shield around the Earth, protecting us from the constant bombardment of energetic radiation coming from the solar winds of the sun. We can even witness these energetic particles being stopped by the magnetic field through the infamous northern and southern lights. Astronomers are not certain what causes our planet's magnetic field, but it's believed to be the result of the constantly swirling molten metallic core in our planet's interior. Exploring our home planet has been awesome, but what would a journey to Earth be without exploring its only natural satellite? Next stop, the moon. <laughs>